So she's asking, how could the information learnt in the history subjects be used in a career? I think that's your question, Claire. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Um, so, sorry, just say the question again for me. How can the information learned in history... How can the information learned in history subjects be used in a career? Okay. In a career. Uh, well, the analytical skills that you develop in history of looking at documents carefully and looking at who wrote it and why, those sorts of skills apply in lots and lots of areas, I think, where you need to be critical readers of um, any information that you're exposed to. Um, so, yeah, I think I'd go with something like that. Maybe Saskia can have a go at answering the question. Uh, mine's not history, mine's politics. Yeah, same uh, actually, idea. Same kind of, um, I know Lauren is also thinking about politics, but um, it's just how to analyse arguments and apply those to like the newspaper, really. And yeah. understanding political systems of the world and how the world works. Yeah. Now, Lauren's also got a business management question. Have we got any? We haven't got anybody to answer them, have we? Yes. I think Tanya's on. Tanya. Tanya? Yes, I'm here. I just can't see your amazing face here on no, this screen. No. That's because I'm not showing my amazing face. Um, hi, Lauren. <laughs> she not can't hear her, can she? Um, it, it is really about, we, you do a range of things in terms of um, across year 11 and year 12, you learn about um, how to set up your own business if you're interested in becoming a small business owner um, and all the decisions that are involved and all the, um, everything that has to be taken into account, all the legal side of it. Um, you learn about how to market your business, you know, um, a lot about um, promoting your business and getting your business out to your customers and linking to your customers. You learn about how to manage your employees in your business as well and effective strategies to do that. Um, and more into year 12, you learn about um, larger businesses and how different business theories about effective management of businesses across the globe. Um, we focus on some Australian businesses and we, we do a lot of case study examples so we can relate all the theory that we're talking about to actual businesses that you hear about um, day to day and that we you deal with day to day. Thanks, Tanya. That was an excellent answer, by the way. Thanks. Right. Now, this next question we have is, a, is about what does Rev history mean? Now, that's a very interesting question. That's like that, uh, those ex existential questions we used to have to tackle. But what do you think, Daryl? Uh, well, thanks for the question, Anonymous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, rev history, so rev means uh, revolution. So in revolutions, we look at how in Russia and China in particular, the existing uh, regimes or systems of government and and social and economic systems were basically torn down by revolutionaries and then a new system was put in its place. So in Russia, for example, we see how the Tsar, who's essentially like a king, is um, booted out and replaced by the Bolshevik or communist regime. So Lenin and all his um, Trotsky and all their cronies. And then likewise in China, we see how Mao comes to power there. and. They basically upend society. So it's a bit of a case study in what happens when you get rid of what's there and put something else in its place. And it's really good. <laughs> it is. It is really good. I will concur. Oh yeah, Tanya would Tanya would know as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. And look, we've got a question here about beginning legal in year ten. Who wants to take that one? Uh, Maybe Alicia could take that one. She could. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, I can hear you, Alicia. Um, you can begin this year legal and you can. In fact, I did and I would highly recommend it um, because it means you can start legal early which means you can finish it early. And a lot of the content that you learn in year 10, I believe you also learn in year 11 as well. So it just really means you skip repeating it in year 11, what you did in year 10. It's also something that you can easily learn. Like it's a good subject that has a lot of understandable content. Is that good or? 
Yeah, thanks, Lawrence. That's a good answer. Did yeah, anyone have, want to add to it at all? Yeah, I've just posted a comment to say that um, each year we tend to have a, a few year 10s doing it, uh, the unit one, two, which is the year 11 equivalent. We have some year 10s doing that most years. And this year in the year 12 classes, we've probably got um, 10 or 12 uh, students who did that and they're now doing year 12 legal studies as year 11 students. Um, I, I love this question. There's a, there is a question here now, and I think this must be, they must be thinking about you, Michael, in this one, because the question is, in a, in a totally non-biased opinion, is Australian history or revs better? <laughs> uh, look, totally unbiased. Um, <laughs> they, they look, they're, they're really, they're different fields of study for, for history. Um, so uh, they both, they both require um, uh, some uh, analytical skills, some reading skills, some uh, reading persuasive arguments. Um, certainly being able to recount facts and figures is very helpful in supporting your argument like that. Um, you won't get a totally non-biased opinion because um, I won't lie. <laughs> Australian now look, it, it, it's for different. There are different. Uh, they're, di they're different topics uh, that are covered. Um, obviously, Australian history focuses on Australia, and history of revolutions focuses on on uh, on revolutions in other countries. And it's really a matter of um, interest. Um, we've had some students that have done both. We've had some students that have done, uh, say, Australian history in year eleven. Uh, as a year 11 student and gone on to revs the other way or vice versa. So it's certainly not uh, one or the other. Uh, you could certainly um, talk to myself or Mr Lyon about what's covered um, in, in each and make your mind up from there. But as I said, some people do both. Some people do one followed by the other uh, and the unfortunate ones miss out altogether. <laughs> Yeah, I think we agree on that, Michael. <laughs> I think um, when you uh, when you study history, you realise there's no such thing as a non-biased opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I agree. Like it's it's really a personal preference. I think it depends what you really what what you're kind of interested in. Because um, I think they're both excellent subjects. I think I know. I suppose some people think Australian history is a little bit um, easier. I think, but uh, it's probably just because the content's a bit more familiar. Um, Whereas Russian China can be a bit unfamiliar, it's a bit like going to a foreign country, but a foreign world, sorry. But um, uh, yeah, but they're both great, and the this, the kind of key skills and the the things that you learn are often quite similar. It's just really the, the knowledge is different. So yeah, either one's brilliant. Nice balanced answer, despite the fact that there is no such thing as uh, <laughs> as as no bias. What about this question about geography in year ten? Um, who wants to take that one? What's it like? What's what's it cover? Claire, do you want me to take it? Yeah, that'd yeah be good. You do it, Katie. Um, first of all, I can't wait to teach this year nine, whoever it is, next term. So that's exciting. Um, so year ten, although it's not currently running, it's about environmental change and management and how different people do manage the environment and how it is changing over time. Um, and we also look at Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders sustainable use of the environment and how they manage it effectively. As well as that, they do. Um, we do human well-being and the development and different development indicators and how development changes from one country to another. And that links in really, really well to HHD in VCE as well. That's it. Thank you for that, Katie. What about this question about VCE legal? Um, about its connection to other sorts of areas of study that are not law. Who wants to take that one? Is that you, Christy? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, Michael, feel free to jump in at any time. Yeah, yeah. So With a non-biased answer. Yeah, I can connect with pretty much anything, like the skills you do, the reasoning skills, the analysis skills, the researching skills. It's very useful. It's also, you know, useful in terms of going into, into business and private enterprise. Really 
things like criminology come up a lot as well, particularly with law, um, police studies, commerce. I think really it's quite a broad area that really relates to lots of different courses. Yeah, it's it's a subject where, um, uh, yeah, as, as we've said, it, it's about being able to um, analyse, justify, explain yourself, and that that applies across any number of university courses. We've we've had some students that have gone through legal studies and have gone on to do law, but we've also had many more probably gone on and done business and commerce. Um, some have gone on and done nursing, worked in um, in government, local government. So it's really a broad um, subject. It just opens your understanding to um, the law that applies to everyone, whatever uni course you do. So uh, that's why it's a good general application subject. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Claire, there's this question about how many humanity subjects do you pick? I know you just say, as many as you can and all of them. Absolutely. Um, it's VCE, yeah, really, it's up to the student to um, select subjects according to uh, where they where their their path might their pathway might go afterwards. So um, at VCE, that's completely up to you, the combination. Um, I don't think, Michael, there are there are no requirements as to you know, don't no. have to do humanities, um, but we highly recommend it because it does give you those really strong skills as you say, of analysing, explaining, justifying, all those sorts of things. Yep. Uh, this next question, it looks like it's yours, Saskia. What sort of things do we cover in global politics? Um, I think simply it's um, what are countries in terms of the whole world, it's not necessarily just Australia, countries such as the US or China, what do they want? How do they get what they want and do they get it? So whether they want to be the most powerful, they want to have the biggest economy or want to like be the most protected and have the biggest army. How do they do that and whether they are successful or not? And then we also do a lot about um, China. We really focus on their power and how, what kind of influence they have in the world and um, how sometimes you don't, don't even realise how powerful they are and what, what methods they use to achieve what they get, achieve what they want. And we also look at like organisations such as the UN um, and how they respond to um, crises such as the global refugee crisis or um, like um, um, what's the other armed conflict. Armed conflicts, yeah. thank you, I did it last year, <laughs> I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, so it's just looking at um, organisations and countries on a global scale and how they interact with each other and what they, how they use the power that they have. Good answer, wasn't it? Very good answer. Yeah. Thank you. Um, there is this question, uh, another question about law and legal. And Michael, maybe you want to answer this, given that you've got the most successful legal career here, I think. What kind of subjects would go alongside wanting to have a career as a lawyer? So I've posted a quick comment. Oh, I see there, your answer. But for our viewers, um, <laughs> we, we've got, there are other subjects that go hand in hand with um, uh, with legal, um, we, there's, there's obviously global politics, there's business, uh, there's history, you could do psychology and go down the, the view of looking at it from a criminologist point of view. So any, I, the, the, look, the advice, and it's a bit the same with any career advice, it's about following your, your interest and your passion. There are some that naturally would go with it, um, but uh, it, it's really uh, more important to follow the, the subjects that interest you and 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 in that way you could uh, go into year 11 um, with a really wide spread of subjects that really interest you and that will help you refine what you actually finish off in year 12 but I've listed some there in the chat uh, in the Q&A global politics business history site could be ones that you could um, you could start with good thanks Michael anyone else want to Add to that. Fantastic. Thanks, Christy. Well, this next question is another one about legal. I'm enrolled in legal uh, in year nine, but I haven't started the semester yet. What does year 10 legal cover? Who wants to take that? I do yeah. again, Michael. Michael, <laughs> you need to take it. 
<laughs> oh yeah, Jan, you could. Yeah. Only because I'm teaching it this year. Um, so in year 10 legal studies, we cover um, the jury system. Um, we cover a little bit about democracy. It's pretty important to understand how um, the government and the political system in Australia run to understand how laws are made. Uh, we also look at police powers and your rights and your um, legal rights in regard to the police and what powers the police have. Um, Michael, did that, you want to add to that? that yeah, yeah, that's really good. It, it, look, it's, it's, it's a subject that whether you go on to do any more of it at, at year uh, 11 or 12, it's one of those subjects where as I was saying before, the, the law applies to everyone, uh, although some people don't accept that and they get arrested accordingly. But um, Year 10 Legal Studies is about opening your eyes to your rights, some really basic rights that people have, and just the powers of police. It's a, it's also a very misunderstood area and, and it's taught in a way um, and over the last few years so that we're not arming people to uh, out, outwit or outsmart police. It's more about understanding their 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 rights, uh, our rights as citizens, and how the two coexist. And we actually can help each other solve crimes, which is why we have things like Crime Stoppers. Um, and doing ten legal is really just an introduction to all that. And whether you proceed on with it in uh, year eleven or twelve is completely up to you. But it's a really broad uh, introductory subject um, as as for for the rest of your life, really. So um, it's really important from that point of view. Thank you, Michael. Um, I believe you. Um, look at this. This uh, this person anonymous who keeps on posting stuff is is really really brilliant because his next question is accounting. What exactly is that? Now, I don't know if she knows how good a question that is. Is Luke there yet? Oh, We've yes. got Luke in the background. Yeah, I think Luke is here. He said he was here. Yeah. He's not down the bottom. Is there. If he isn't there, we Dylan. can answer some questions. We do accounting and economics. Oh, good. oh there you go. Go, Ella. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I Isabella. Well, I'm um, accounting is how to, we learn how to record and report um, like financial records within a small business or like organisation. Yeah. yeah. So it's just preparing things like balance sheets, uh, income statements, yeah. general ledgers, general journals, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's, That's an excellent answer, Ella. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Luke was having trouble getting on to the um, into the into the actual team, so at some stage so he might be there. You're not there, are you, Luke? No, but Ella, you're probably better than him anyway. So thank you for that. <laughs> he's stuck as like he's just watching it and not being a presenter. Well, that must be very frustrating um, for him. That would be good. Or convenient. Okay. <laughs> this, um, this next question that we've got is, could the students doing these different subjects explain what they enjoyed about the subjects? So this is a this is a student voice one. We probably should start at the top with you, Saskia, and then we'll go from there. Um. Well, because global's, global politics is a lot about just how other countries interact with each other, I really like the fact that now especially right now with like coronavirus and just everything, I'm able to kind of read a newspaper or read the news and not only just go, okay, like China's doing this or whatever, but going, oh, China's doing this because this is what they want and this is how they're going to get it. So even at the moment, like China and Australia have a, they're like raising tariffs on each other and it's more seeing that and saying, oh, they're not just doing that for fun. Like that's that they're doing that because they want to be more powerful. And so it's, I like being able to read the news and watch it um, and just kind of understand not not what people are doing, but why they're doing it and what kind of impacts that might have. Good answer. Thanks. What about you, Sarah? Would you? Do 
Just unmute your mic. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> I really like looking at the causes and the consequences of the different revolutions and the, why some things happened like they did. Yeah. I don't really know what else to say. No, that's that's good answer anyway. What other who other students have we got here? We've got you, Ella, haven't we? And oh we've got um, Alicia for legal. Alicia. Alicia, what subjects did you do? recently in humanities? Uh, I currently do legal studies. Um, what I enjoy about legal studies... You need to just speak up a little bit so that other people can hear. Sorry. What I enjoy about legal studies is how uh, when I look at the news and it's been a legal case, I can, you know, I now understand the proceedings behind it and what yeah. happens and how the outcome was reached, whereas before like I have a lot of those discussions with my family and before I didn't really understand, but now I can kind of, now I grasp the concepts and I can tell my family what happened. And it's a lot, it's really good um, to understand how that all works and it's opened up a lot of new career options for me as well. Mm. So you, do you enjoy being sort of better informed? Yeah, I really or do. Or knowing more than your parents? Yeah, no, that's always positive. Yeah, it's not a bad thing, is it? Um, thanks for that. And uh, we've got you here, Ella, haven't we? What, what, what about you? What did you study? Um, so I'm here with Isabella Rosa as well, and we both do accounting, economics and business management. And then I also did um, legal studies last year. Um, yeah, come on. You're the you're the full deal then. Tell us yeah. uh, what you enjoy. Um, with economics, I really enjoy being able to look at the news now and like read articles and like understand what's going on with the economy. Like especially now that we're in like we're living through a pandemic, like seeing how that is affecting the economy is really interesting and being able to understand that is, is really good. And I think with business management and accounting, they're both um, in small scale. Yeah, they're both on a smaller scale, but it's really good to learn about like how to run a business and what goes on behind that. So accounting is like the financial aspects of that and business management is like, um, what would you say? It's like the structure. Yeah, the structure of a business and how to run a business. And that's really good. Yeah, the most, I think one of the most enjoyable things about accounting. Is that you, Rosa? Yeah. Isabella. Yeah, how are you? Um, it's just the finance aspect yeah. of it all. Um, it's interesting how reports and like um, financial records are used in decision making and how to improve a business and um, everything that goes on within it. I think they're all really useful subjects for like um, for general knowledge like to know in the future as well. Like legal studies is really good to know like your rights and like that kind of stuff. Like I'm not going to study law after school, but it's just it's a really interesting subject and same with business management, accounting and economics. They're really good for um, general knowledge after school, I guess. Yeah, we always hear like some people come out of school not knowing what taxes are and how taxes work. And that's the kind of stuff we learn in like economics and accounting. That's really useful and that answers the question really well too. There's no other students we've got in the background there, are there? Right. Anybody else want to add to the questions? Right. Well, get, you know what? For a, for a little while, we've got no. We've managed to answer every question so far, and we've got no new questions. So, who wants to do a dance or something? Richard, I think as you suggested it, you could do it. Yeah. <laughs> and what is that? The dancing um, globes or something there with you, Jen? Yeah, global politics. So you learn about the globe. Hang on, the geography. <laughs> <laughs> that is excellent. 
You know, there's not very much for me to do as producer here because seeing you've only got one screen, you don't have to be put live. So I could go home, I reckon. I'll just leave you here. No? But then who would pass our questions so elegantly? Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> you can stay for another semester. <laughs> Right. I think humanities is the way to go. Everyone needs to know that. <laughs> Do we all agree on that? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Well, I belong in science with psychology as well, so I've got to hedge my bets either way. Uh, I'd just go for your humanities files here, Christy, <laughs> all the way. <laughs> well, psych used to kind of belong in humanities. It's sort of a bit lost on its own. Yeah, it's a bit of both really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Do you know we've got a new question, but it is a thank you. Just wanting to say thanks for answering all the questions. Now that's one of the anonymouses. It could be all of them. So haven't we made anonymous happy? <laughs> that, that is really good. I feel like this is going to be a very long 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Oh, close up with Michael. <laughs> well, what do you think, Claire? You know, like I, it certainly doesn't need all of the troops here assembled for the next little while. No, I wonder if we could take some questions on notice. If if some more questions come in in the next twenty minutes or so, maybe we can, in. yeah, jot them down, like take a copy and then. Um, get back to people or I don't know what do you think yeah, that's easy to do but we do have one one new question right um and it is I didn't publish it very successfully for a minute uh, if I didn't do year 10 legal but would like to do VCE one and two what would I miss I can actually touch on this if you'd like. Yeah, I'd love you to. Um, so I accelerated and did one, two, and I didn't do year 10 at all, and I found it fine. Like, I didn't miss anything, and we all kind of went back through it in unit one, two, what happened in year 10, I believe. So I found it fine. Thanks for that. Anyone else want to add to that question? It's not that it's not beautifully answered. I completely agree that, yep, you get some great skills if you do do the year 10 one prior, but we do teach it as though you don't know anything. So we do go back over everything, so you're not going to miss anything, but certainly it does help you if you're a bit ahead and you've got some of those skills already. Yeah, people uh, people just have to, it, some t it takes some people some time to realise the VCA subjects have to all start from that same base where it doesn't actually assume any prior knowledge at all. So, but that being said, it's really handy to get the, the start in year 10, isn't it? Mm. All right. Claire, who wants to, do you want to make a decision about who wants to stay around for the last bit or? Um, maybe we just go with whoever 
is happy to stay on. Can I go on the chat? I wasn't sure if I was allowed to actually see the chat because I mucked up the other one. Yeah, yeah. Um, if, so long as people put the, their name when the questions come in, um, you know, we can put them in touch with teachers. That's or, right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So like come, we can always post a reply that says, you know, somebody will be in contact if you leave your details or something, yeah, who, yeah. what your name is. But yes, I, I didn't know why it lets you be anonymous. But anyway, that's the power of Microsoft, I think. Mm. Um, so, so what, are you, what are you suggesting, Claire? Well, people want to go. Well, so I think anyone who would like to depart at this stage, um, yeah. I'll, I'll stay on for the next 20 minutes. And if there are any questions, I'll just, so long as I can see the Q&A thing, I'll just jot them down and forward them to the relevant person. Yeah, well, you open open it up now and see what happens. Just make sure it works. Because Ash told me to close it, and I don't really understand why. But no, I... neither do I yet. But you see, yeah. she's my tech expert today. And she's gone. <laughs> yep. And really? so I'm my, my, I'm my own tech expert oh, now. You're All right, good. that's okay. It's only it's only up on the little screen here, so people can actually see that that question. So that's okay. Um. Yeah. No, mine's up now. So. Yep. Yep, I assume right. that's okay. Right, so we can go. I think All right, so. well, look, I'll stay. I'll stay in as the you know the the noble producer while the, the ship sinks too. Until <laughs> do you, well, I don't know, Richard. Do you need to? No, I, I've got to stay here till about four anyway. So, oh, okay. all right. So I right. will be. I'll be here. Yeah. And um, if we get a new question, I'll alert someone. Yeah. Yep. That'd be good. And if we, we're stumped, well, we'll pass it on to a suitable yep. yeah. respondent. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for it. You did a great job, folks out there doing this. Um, yeah. Thanks, everyone. Work. Thank it's you. It's really good. Well done. We'll come together in the end. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thanks. See ya. Okay. Good night and thanks. Thanks. So we're going. That was good, Claire. I think that it answered all the questions that people normally have. Yeah, yeah. And as Jo said yesterday, she didn't want to bet the life of her firstborn on it. So I think all in all, it's been a raging success. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to what? <laughs> well, I think what she was anticipating anyway. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it is. It's really, uh, no, it's been pretty successful, really. Yeah, you remember yeah. last year's in the Nagel room now, what, what excitement that was? Yeah, yeah. It's actually loses a bit when um, like this. Um, have have other groups done theirs already? Have the arts? Yeah, there was a couple last night, a couple tonight. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Not huge numbers though, obviously. No, 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 and we're not, you know, doing what was the best one, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not, yeah. Uh, but no, it's been good. I, it's been a really good way of doing it in this in this day and age. With, yeah, you know, it's fine. Not yeah. wanting to put on events and things like that. It's yeah. it's good. Um, we what do you reckon I, about why you can be anonymous and post it? It it doesn't really help in some ways, does it? I, I think it's meant to um, encourage people to feel as though they can ask questions without being. Um, uh, without being identified, so that they might they might in fact ask more questions, and um, we can therefore answer it really generally. But it it we'd have to encourage anyone who's um, listening uh, who really wants some specific advice to uh, maybe email, uh, send an email, or catch up with one of the teachers because um, it sounds as though it's pretty easy for them to select anonymous and. And, and I, that's probably the reason. They probably uh, just to encourage people to to post questions. Yeah. Mm. Which in a different setting might be okay, but probably for us, yeah. it's not. Yeah, it's not really helpful. Jen's turned her microphone off. Yeah, she's now being rude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he or do you think it would be SARS gear being read? Ah, possibility. Staff, is SARS gear gone, Ted? No, I'm here. Oh, it's a pity. I was going to talk about you. 
Uh, do you want me to leave and you can talk about staff things? Yeah. You can play yeah. about students. Like, what are we going to do to the kids tomorrow? Come on. How are you going to talk to them? <laughs> I reckon I have a good idea. You guys are quite good at this. You should set all the sacks for the same week. Oh, <laughs> the same day even. Yeah, the same day. Let's see if we can do that. You put five in one day. Yeah. It's really yeah. effective at torture. Yeah. <laughs> good idea. What else could we put on that day as well? Um, nothing. Oh, what, an evacuation like, practice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Partly through a, a sack, preferably, and uh, yeah. Yeah. that'll just increase stress levels. Yep. And then if you play that cleaning song during the <laughs> I think he's pretty happy with that cleaning song. He's pretty proud of it too. I, I think it's got to go. <laughs> <laughs> was that, whose who's initiative was that, the song? Uh, shit. Ladies? Ladies. <laughs> so courageous. Yeah. Did you hear it? It was the after lunch, like oh, go back in music. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It was quite cool. Though. But I don't think people missed it. Yeah. Now this is handy. We've got it's, somebody was listening to us and has put their name to this one. There's a girl, Michelle Jarvis. I I um year eight, looking at history in year nine. What's covered in year nine history? Who's going to take that one, Jen? Oh, I think Claire's probably more articulate Claire. about it, but... <laughs> Hello, yeah, we can talk help. about it. <laughs> we yeah. Thank you for um, the question. You go, Jen, if you want. Um, it's, it's based on the making a nation. We look at the Industrial Revolution. We start off with the Industrial Revolution and um, move mm. towards early settlement in Australia. Um, we look at the gold rush uh, and then we... We look, we look at Federation after the gold rush and then we look at World War One, and we go into World War One and the causes of World War One. It's very exciting and I probably made it sound drier than it is. <laughs> Claire, do you have anything to add? Um, I, I just think it covers, that, that particular unit covers information that I think every student should know about basically as Australian citizens, you know, this is some of the important history that um, I think everyone should, as we go out into the big wide world, have some knowledge and understanding of. So um, yeah, it's a great unit and it does cover really important things. So highly recommend it. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. Good on you, Michelle. That was a pass in history already, I think. What do you think? <laughs> and I see, Michael, that you've answered that question about legal doing it in year um, doing in year ten. Yeah, I, you just can't. I can't spell introduce, but um, it's it's where you hit enter and it just posts the comment. Yep. But uh, so legal and political systems at year nine is um, relatively new, and um, there is um, work being done between to make some connections between nine and ten but there's no no disadvantage at all if you haven't done nine uh you can certainly still do ten and um as we were saying before with we, it's the same with vce if you if you haven't done a year ten uh, introductory type subject whether it's psych or legal or whatever um the vce assumes that you haven't done a lot of that and will go over that material anyway so um really good question but um, no disadvantage if you if you haven't done um, year nine to do year ten. We've got a new question that is an old question there. Do you see what's accounting cover? Not not as well worded, <laughs> with the not having exactly in it. But we've got no one to answer that, have we? No. Who feels like they can write a reply? Um, anything? Hmm? Oh, Joe Ryan's replying to this post. That's me. <laughs> oh, oh, are you? <laughs> Business, um, accounting. <laughs> no, accounting is 
um, measuring the activity of particular businesses, isn't it? It's about yeah. accurate record keeping um, so that businesses can grow and uh, become stronger. So it's it's about keeping those records yep. and learning how to do that in an efficient and careful manner, I think. Yeah, the financial systems of it. Yeah. I think what um, Alan is a oh, no. before too is that it, it, you can use it just in your de daily general life once you start, you know, taxes and you just kind of understand how the world works. That's when shifted to Thursday. 